So now let's do a, a t-test problem. So the question is, the mean age of graduate students at the university is at most 31 years. A random sample of 10 graduate students is taken. Here's the data, 29, 28, 27, 33, 34, 39, 42, 37, 38, and 40. Are the data significant at the 10% level? So first thing I need to know is, is this problem a one mean t-test because, well, we do know it is. And the reason we know it is, is because there is no population standard deviation. It has to be given to you for you to complete the problem to make it a z-test. So since we don't have one, we know it's a one mean t-test. All right, so what's the population mean? Well, the population mean is what they're comparing the data to. So in this case, it's 31 years. So sample mean, well, I don't have that because I have actual data. So what I want to do is I'm going to go over to the website and let me bring it up. And I've already got the data in there. If you see here, I've got that data in there. And the last thing I need to do is put 31 in there. Okay. So it asked me a bunch of questions and what I might do is I might actually come back to this and keep going through what I need to do. All right, so I'm going to skip sample, sample mean and sample standard deviation. What is my level of significance? So it's 10% or if I make it a decimal, 0 0.10. Sample size is 10. How do I knew that? Because I have 10 graduate students I'm looking at. All right. What is my null hypothesis? All right, at most, what does that mean? If I say I'm going to give you at most $100, you're really hoping I'm going to give you 100 but I could give you $1, $50, So the way we write this is, let me get the symbols out so you can see this, is I'm going to be less than or equal to 31 years. Okay, because it most means, again, I'm under 31 years, and the most it can be is equal to 31 years. So that's why the mean is less than or equal to 31 years. So the alternative, so if I'm equal to it or below it, the only alternative is that can it, it can be above it. So that is my null and my alternative. So now I can go back to the website. So I'm going to go back here, and I know now that it's 0.10, and I know it's a one-tailed test. How do I know it's a one-tailed test? Because the, <clears throat> excuse me, the alternative only has one direction in it, okay? Two-tailed test is not equal to or equal to, and if you go back to the section on that, you'll see that. So again, this is a one-tailed test. So I've got population mean my sample, my significance level, and then it's a one-tail test, and then I hit calculate. So it gives me the t-value and the p-value, all right? To get the sample mean and the sample standard deviation, you'll have to go back to where we did descriptive statistics and get it from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that data again and do Control-C, and I'm going to go to the descriptive statistics, and I'm going to do mean and median. So all I'm going to do is put it in there and hit calculate. So the sample mean for this one is 34.7. So I'm going to go here and do that. So it's 34.7. Okay. Sample standard deviation. Again, I don't get it from that site. So what I do is because I still have, I'm going to make sure to get my data again so I don't lose it. I'm going to go back up to Descriptive Statistics, go to Standard Deviation in the calculator, and I'm going to do this, put it again, and remember I want to sample because I'm looking for it. it actually says Sample Standard Deviation. So I go there and I hit Calculate, and my Sample Standard Deviation is 5.33, okay? So I'm going to put this here, 5.33, all right. If I go back, oops, I got to go run it again because I lost everything, but that's okay. I'm going to go to calculators, 
I'm going to go to one to single sample for a T test. Take me to the calculator. And again, it's always good practice. This is oops, 31. Here's my data. 0.10. And it's a one me, excuse me, it's a one tail test. I hit calculate. All right, so my T value is 2.19. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. 2.19. My P value is 0 0.0279. So I'm going to put that as 0 0.028. All right, I'm going to stop right here and now I'm going to do it in the calculator. So I put my data in L1 and then I go to stat, go over to test, and I'm going to go to 2 to t test. So I've got my data in there, so this should be blinking at me, so I'm good. If it's not, you scroll over to it and you hit enter and it makes it blink, which means that's what you're using. Okay, next thing it wants is my sample, excuse me, is my population mean, which we know is 31. And if you see here, it helps when you write everything down so you can keep it straight. My list is in L1, my frequency is 1. So this one I've got to go, oops, I'm going to go down. This hypothesis is corresponding to your alternative. So I'm going to go here and pick the one that corresponds, and it's that one. It's the greater than. So I hit Enter, and now I know that I have it. So then I go down one more, hit Calculate, and hit Enter. And if you look, I have the exact same thing that I got before. With the website, I had to take more steps, but I did get the same information. Okay, so now I'm going to keep going. What is my comparison when I do my p-value to my level of significance? So I've got 0 0.028 is less than or equal to 0 0.10, so I reject my null. Okay, and what was my null? So I'm saying <clears throat> this one is incorrect, and this one is correct. But remember, my original claim was this one. This was my original claim. And sometimes it'll help if when you make it out, you might just want to do OC in front of it. <coughs> Excuse me, so you know that's your original claim. So what is my original claim? So my original claim is at the 10% level of significance, the average, let me make sure I'm writing this right, the, uh, the mean age is not, why is it not? Because I didn't find it true, is not at most 31 years, okay? And that seems kind of weird, but why am I saying that? Because what I'm saying is if the null had been, excuse me, had been true, it would have been that the, the mean age is at most 31 years because it would have been equal to or less than. But because I found it not to be true, it, that is not true. So you can just write it this way. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.